And that should about do it, you pixel perfect little cutie. Go oh, hey, hi, uh, my name is Bannon Rudis. I'm the lead artist and game designer type dude on River City Ransom Underground. This is the officially licensed sequel to the original one that came out on Nintendo over 20 years ago. Over 20 years ago. I know sequels take time, I know games take time, but seriously, it's been way too long and our team is sick of waiting. We will make this game. We shall make this game. We will shall make this game. Yes. So get your raincoats on, everybody. It's about to rain. Pixels. It. Oh. There they go. Yeah. As you can see, our game will still feature 8-bit graphics like the original, but we're going to update where we can without using modern-day effects, sounds, or color palettes. There are going to be new animations, fighting moves, unique enemies, playable characters, shopping, items, and River City itself will be more expansive and more to explore. Everything that you love about the original will make its way into the sequel. We got you covered. Don't worry. Think of this game as a game that should have came out back on the Nintendo, but without the limitations of the Nintendo at the time. Think of it as um, it's running on a Super Nintendo. <laughs> Not a Super Nintendo, but a Nintendo that's super. Sick looking mustache you got there, Super Nintendo. Yes, it is. Quite. Pip pip. Our game will feature a new cast of characters with their own unique style of fight. Each time you play the game with a different character, it should feel like a new experience. You'll be able to level up your character as you progress throughout the game, and you'll be able to play with other players. If I had friends. So then it's this construction worker. You don't know. Who are you? I'm your new friend. Yeah, let's play the video game. Come on. Thank you for your time. Oh, what were you doing? I was in the middle of a job interview. You'll get it. And you'll also be my friend. Let's play a video game. Okay. You'll get the job, don't worry. A girl? But, uh, what were you in the middle of? Nothing. It's... You like video games? No. Alright, let's play. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> Best <laughs> friends forever. <laughs> don't you leave me. Back in the day, Technos captured a certain look and feel and charm, and we want to try to replicate that and honor that in our game. We want to achieve that through the graphics, the sound, and the gameplay itself, but updating where we can for a modern day audience. I know personally, I grew up playing these games, and this is a dream project for myself. And not only for myself, but for the rest of the team, this is a dream come true. So, I think I have talked enough, so... Take <laughs> it! Hi, I'm Mark, and I'm the lead gameplay developer for River City Ransom Underground. One of the things I'm really excited about bringing back from the original was the non-linear gameplay aspect, and also the ability to interact with, with the objects around the world. In the original, you were able to pick up a baseball bat and just smack this rock into the enemy's head as it was being thrown at you. And we want to bring that back, but we want to do so with a more updated physics engine to allow us more opportunities to surprise you. I'm really excited about how the combat system is shaping up. We're able to update the combat system so that enemies are going to be able to act exactly how you think they should act. When enemies come on screen, you're going to be scared because they might cut, try to surround you, hold you, and just knock the crap out of you. It's going to be awesome. How's that? I really hope that all the fans out there join us and help bring this creation to life. Hi, I'm Daniel and I'm producing River City Ransom Underground. My job is to make sure that the game is snappy and that each team member can get their work done. Making games is an expensive undertaking, especially with a licensed game. We've already put a lot of our own money into this to get it off the ground, but we'd really love to go full-time and make the game that fans deserve. We don't want to make another disappointing licensed title. That's where you come in. We need $180,000 to fund QA, localization, accounting and legal fees, and for modest salaries for the team. This minimum amount of money will allow us to deliver a great game for you next summer on Windows. 